Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus 12R and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So to get started we're gonna open up our settings and let's open up display and brightness as the first option and here we have to start off with dark and light mode now you can select it either permanently by choosing one of those or you can select it on a schedule so the device will automatically switch between these two modes uh, based on the time of day which is probably a better option for majority of the people now going back we have a little bit further down the list natural tone display aka true tone from apple uh, what it does is it just makes it this display a little bit more yellowish but the very beginning it might feel a little bit jarring if you enable this but it does look a little bit better in my opinion now continuing even further down we have image sharpener and video color boost now these are both uh, things that will utilize a little bit more of your processor therefore the battery will drain a bit quicker uh, but for instance image sharpener tries to upscale an image um, based on how it looks like so it's not really sharpening it's more like an upscaling if the actual comparison is correct uh, though keep in mind this might be just bullshit and it's just sharpening so you know blacks might look more blocky now uh, so something to keep in mind but if it works well you might want to check it out uh, for a bit more pixelated content now below that we have video color boost which just Increased saturation tries to convert uh, standard dynamic range content to HDR. Though this is just using processor to do it, so the effect won't be as good as actually watching HDR content. Again, uses more of the phone's battery because it does utilize processor for this kind of operation. Uh, but probably it will give you a better result for videos over the well, HDR or uh, the SDR content. Now scrolling even further down we have the screen resolution and refresh rate now by default this device comes with standard being enabled to preserve battery life but if you want that super crispy uh, image quality you might want to make it a little bit higher which you have the option right here too now that being said samsung does the same thing where they give you phones that run at 1440p resolution but it's enabled at 1080p by default uh, to preserve battery life and refresh rate as you can see we have here as well options for it so we have high standard and we have app specific refresh rate which is a new option that i haven't seen before so you can choose whichever one you want now this is an ltpo display meaning that it does drop i believe to like 10 or even one uh, hertz per second or frame per second uh, to preserve battery life so that is a good thing so it utilizes 120 when there is content that can utilize this kind of refresh rate and where there isn't for instance like this page right here it will drop it all the way to like i said either one or ten one of those two which is obviously a significantly better option rather than running this still screen at 120 frames per second which there is nothing happening on it so that just wastes power now, uh, going back to the main settings page, we can navigate to home screen and lock screen. And here we have the swipe down on home screen. Now, by default, we have shelf. I don't really like that myself, so I prefer to have it notification drawer. Now, when you swipe down on your home screen, you'll get your notification shade along with the toggles, which is something that I use way more frequently over the actual uh, shelf. Now, last thing that I wanted to show, actually second last before I do, I'm going to also touch upon the uh, animation speed. So here you can change the animation speed of opening applications. They have a couple different things that happens though. So if I since enable this, when you go back, that's an animation where it swipes to the side. Um, as you can see, there's these animations swiping up, the minimization that just happened, that's also an animation. Uh, so it supposedly increases this by just a little bit. There is a better way to doing this over the one that comes in the settings right here under the home screen and lock screen and if you want to get faster animations so everything just happens quicker you could enable developer options which is pretty simple though i recommend checking out the video and in there you'll find transition animation scale animation duration scale and animation something whatever there's three of them one after another they're all set to 1x you can change it to 0.5x and this will give you a basically half the speed or, or double the speed of the animation that was previously happening so everything will be significantly faster 
Now moving on to the last option, it's going to be the one in the additional settings, system navigation. And here we have the two different navigation styles, either the button navigation or gesture navigation. Now that being said, throughout the setup process, you do have this page show up, but what you don't have is the additional options for, for instance, gesture navigation. Here we have interesting option like height gesture guide bar, which is the bar at the bottom. So you can completely get rid of it from a view while still retaining obviously the functionality. Just gives you a bit of a cleaner look to your device. Now, one last thing that I wanted to actually show that I just recalled is on these devices is the hiding of uh, things like Bluetooth and basically toggles that you have enabled. So location, Bluetooth, rotation, and all that stuff. You can get rid of it from being visible on your status bar. And we can do that by navigating into home screen. No, oh, there we go. Notifications and status bar, status bar. And here you have all the toggles that I can uh, disable from showing up in your status bar, which is pretty nice. Additionally, we also have the uh, option for the battery so you can make it a bit cleaner battery style. Okay, so all of these actually have no battery in the inside of it. So I'm going to disable the percentage just for a cleaner look. Uh, notifications, we can also compound that to just a single number. And then we can get rid of things like the Bluetooth if it's enabled. It still stays enabled, just want to point that out. So, oh, there we go, it's right, right here. So you can see it's still enabled, yet it's not showing up in your status bar. And it just makes your device feel cleaner over the default collidery look that you typically have. And this is something that comes on not very many devices with the ability for you to hide these toggles. But anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.